Hey everybody, it's Neil, and I'm back with you here from my living room in New York doing a demo walkthrough for Mosaic Bass. Really excited to be back. This is our third installment in the Mosaic series. First, we had the twins, Mosaic Voices, and Mosaic Keys, and we felt like we needed a bass instrument to kind of fill things out. Uh, really excited about this new instrument. We can get a lot more details from our walkthrough about you know what's in the instrument, how the engine works. Uh, that's all in another video. So I'm going to focus on a track that I wrote today and kind of step you through uh, you know what I wrote, how I use the uh, the product, um, and all the good stuff that's in there. So why don't we just get into it? Let's do it. Right, cool let's check this stuff out here so first part that we have is this kind of big detuned aggressive synth uh, let's take a look at that there are two categories one's mellow and one's aggressive and you know me I'm gonna use all the aggressive stuff of course why not cool so let's open this track up looks like it's an octave part let's solo that So this, if you've seen any of the other um, Mosaic tutorials for Mosaic Voices or Mosaic Keys, it's using the same engine, of course, and it's a pretty deep engine. So we've got three different parts playing in this pad. Classic analog synth. And the second one, more of a drone. And the third part in this preset. Modular Ghost is the name, it's cool. Has a little bit of that ghost vibe in there. All right, let's check out the next part, which is called In the Ashes. That one's a lot wetter. Um, it's more of like this ambient kind of throw. I'm not sure what that actually means, an ambient throw, but you'll hear it with the bass. Those two together. with a long decay on it. And then this third section, it's called Aggressive Grid Run. And this is a rhythmic preset. Let's play it. So that's really driving the intro. Uh, let me solo this first section. So you can see here on this page, I've clicked on art and uh, there is an arpeggiator going on, chugging away. And channel two is more of a drone. Third channel. This is where we get into those found sounds and it's just clicking away, giving it more of a percussive a kind of tone to it. You can hear that working. All right, so let's uh, start layering these three together. All right, 
it neat. So if we go down to the rhythmic components, I chose to use damage. It's been a while and I love damage and I wanted to get a little creative with the sounds. Obviously this is more of a tutorial about bass, mosaic bass, but we needed some percussion and why not use damage? I've got the Studio Armageddon Ensemble. What I did do to kind of change things up is if you go to the EQ, you can see I took some of the top off versus where it was. Making it a little more thuddy. And I cranked up the punish knob to get a little more compression and heat on it. So this is essentially just big booms. And then underneath that, we've got an industrial loop. I started looking deeper into the instrument to find some stuff that was gonna be fun, maybe that I hadn't used before. So we have this loop going on. And here I also pulled some of the high end down on that and I'm using the filters. So that's what it sounds like without the filters. It's a little more like stealthy with everything in. section. So this, the center section here, we're starting to build. It isn't a melody, it's more of a theme, and you have this kind of arpeggiated thing floating, and it gives it more motion, it pushes it along. So let's take a look at the sounds that I used and uh, why they're working. All right, so here we go. Um, this is called Broken Cycle. Here's a preset. Yes, and there's uh, overload here. I love overload. If it doesn't sound broken, I go with it. Cool, so uh, let's just solo the channels quick. All right, interesting. Second channel. And third channel. Pretty quiet. All right, let's listen to it all together. So the sounds are opening up and modulating. This is basically controlled by the macro sequencer. So this is an automated kind of all these effects in here. Let me back up envelope filter. EQ, you could do that one as well. We're not actually modulating that, but um, the drive. So anything that's kind of modulating here, uh, when you engage, say drive or filter or envelope, you can see the buttons are on. If you go to envelope, you can see there's some slight movement. And I've covered this before in some of the um, other tutorials, the one that I did for the previous Mosaic instrument. Um, but essentially there's movement happening and it's opening um, filters and some drive and you can see I used the mod wheel and I manually kind of drove that up so watch this play mod wheels building almost to its max right so here are the the filters for channel one for instance and I'm pushing that open and you can see it's moving that filter open. 
Just gives it more expression. This one's kind of like a lo-fi. And the center section is the most prominent one in this track. And as you see, it's basically repeating, 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 and then kind of comes down with a mod wheel. So let's take this section and listen through to the other goodies going on in here. Alright, so as this section kind of develops, we bring back this in the ashes pad. And I feel like that really helps it build. So from this point where um, in the ashes pad comes in, let's check it out. goes into a melody. I've got my latte, of course, with my eco-friendly glass straw. That's what you heard. Mm-hmm. Gotta have the latte, right? Gotta have it. Um, cool. So this is building and building and building, and then there's more percussion going on, but we're going to focus on the bass. We go to 27, and we listen to this broken cycle rhythm. marching along. Melody starts, let me pop that in. thought this was just a bass instrument so I wanted to use a melody and kind of tweaked a few things here so it's aggressive big detuned and then I put my name after it so I would know you know if you go into aggressive and you go into playables there's big detuned and down here are the ones that I've saved so I made a few changes so I just saved it just by like hitting the save, writing what you want, and then it saves it into your local um, contact folder on your system. And all the good stuff that you do and that you like, you can save right there. So that's what I did. So let's play through the melody soloed and just see what that comprises of. <laughs> like an overloaded sign vibe. And that one's an octave up. So all together. Neat. So let's see how that plays against the whole track. And 
that kind of just vibes out in the end after the break. So uh, let's just look at the rhythm really quickly because it is part of what makes this thing tick, right? Again, we've got the Armageddon percussion from Damage. Just kind of giving us the big powerful hits. And then a Damage Industrial Loop. Again, that one is pretty tweaked. If we shut off this, that's what it sounded like in the EQ. So I wanted to give it more presence, so I pushed up the punish knob. That's a lot of P's. And played with the high pass and low pass filters. So it's more kind of in your face and cuts through. So with the booms. Kind of a cool groove. And then we've got some, uh, some impacts from the damage hits. And lastly, this. So I felt like I wanted a little more kind of movement in the rhythm. So I added another loop element. And let's see if we're doing a lot to that. Oh yes. That's what it sounded like before. Trimmed a little top off. Really pushed the hell out of the, uh, the punish knob to get a lot of gain. And then backed off some of the top end and the bottom using the high pass filters. So, you know, just sculpting the sounds that already exist so they fit in the mix better um, always helps the composition kind of meld together better. So together, now that you've heard those separately, this is what it sounds like with Mosaic Bass. <laughs> break. Just kind of fades out. So let's see, if we take it from the break. What's going on here? Kind of neat. And then in the break. It's pretty subdued, it's just kind of low synth part kind of grooving along and I was like let's find a cool standout loop that could work on its own and be a little interesting sounding so this it's kind of fun to like go back into products like damage and poke around and find loops that you forgot were in there and like it's new again so this one, let's find out where that's playing from. Again, that's uh, the Industrial Elements 2 loop. And again, it's pretty mashed. A lot of gain. And taking out some of that mid to low bottom in it. So it's kind of very thin, but it works for a breakdown. Let's just take a quick look. I'm going to back it up to 25 and listen into the break and just we'll experience this little bass from Broken Cycle, the rhythmic part, and uh, the one loop from Damage.
and that just sort of fades out to the end. Uh, so why don't we take it from the top and have a listen down. So thanks everybody for tuning in and watching my Mosaic Bass demo. Uh, you can check it out at heaviosity.com. It's on sale now. Um, there's plenty of audio demos. There's a preset playthrough. There's a content overview, which will give you more information about presets, how many are in there, or snapshots as we call them, um, what the sources are and all that good stuff. And so if you enjoyed this video, hit like, and subscribe, and you'll be in the know for the latest info from Heaviosity. Again, thanks for watching and take care. Mm -hmm.